Okay, this video is how to tension in the braking system on the zip line. So we've set up the higher end of the zip line, the start point up there, and we're going to come down here. Now what you would have to do is hook this on our turnbuckle and pull it, but no matter how much you pulled, you wouldn't be able to get the, the uh, enough of the uh, bow out of this thing. And you could try to use the turnbuckle, but you probably wouldn't have enough. So what we use is a ratcheting strap, which is here. A winch puller. So this basically pulls up, pulls loads. So there's a couple things you gotta know about this. As you're winding things up, make sure that it's not all loading into one side of the spool. Make sure it's spreading it across the spool. As you let it out, make sure there's a couple rolls left on the spool because if it comes out to the end, it'll it'll come out. So the thing that'll mess you up on this is getting it to pull out. So there's two things you have to do. This yellow spring, you click it back and that causes this tooth to disconnect. This now spins freely, but it's still locked. To unlock it, you have to pop this back unit. So once that's done, you can pull it out. But again, you only want to pull it out to leave a couple of, couple of lines of uh, cable out. It's already coming out again. So what we'll do is we'll take this, we'll hook it onto our strap. We'll just use a carabiner. This isn't life safety, it's just utility. And then we'll get our specially designed length of cable, clip it on. So now what we have to do is we'll bring it up here. And we're gonna use this to winch this cable in. So to do that, we just marry up the two pieces. Help me just grab onto it. Yeah, it's tight, 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 tight. Okay, so we're just going to use our wire clip to do a temporary connection between these two. Okay. It's not, it's got to get a little tighter than finger tight. Okay, now we can pull this tight with our ratchet. So again, we got to make sure that this front tooth is engaged using the yellow. And it's that simple. You just crank it up. And again, we're making sure it loads on the spool evenly. See how it's pulling out the bow there. Again, we're loading the spool carefully. It gets very heavy, so that's why this is important. And you team this up with our turn buckle and you can do some good work with it. Okay, so we don't have to be perfect because again, we have the turn buckle to use. So this is the actual wire that we're using. It's hanging free now. So we bring it down, hook up to our turn buckle. Oh, but before we do that, I'm going to load. I preloaded my braking system, so I'm just going to slide this up the, the wire because it's got to be obviously in front of the end. Okay. So we're loading our thimble and our wire. Demonstration, I'm not going to use our thread locker, but you would obviously use that. Okay, it's not not too hard to, uh, you don't even need to get that tight because again, we still have the turnbuckle left to do our dirty work of tightening it. Okay. Lost my nut, as is what I said, you always need a catcher when you're doing this. Okay. 
Now if we're doing it for real, we'd have three of these on and we'd have our thread locker, but we're not. So now this can take the load. So we're gonna release the load off of this. In order to do that, it's a little tricky. You keep this engaged and you release the pressure and you hook that and you bring it out, okay? Click this off. It's now engaged, bring it up, re-engage it. And now I use this to move, tighten it a little bit to release the pressure back here. And now I can go back one. So it's a process of doing that. Um, we may have enough now that we can, we don't need to do that anymore. Just, just use the carabiner here because it's easier than hooking into the strap. Again, it's not life safety, so I didn't need to worry about much more. Now I gotta, Disconnect my extra winching strap, and you see you lose a little bit because your live line laid slack a little bit as you're doing it. But again, you have the turnbuckle to do that, but it gets you a lot closer to the tension that you need than doing it. Okay, so we're done with that. The braking system's pretty self explanatory. Got a sacrificial chunk of plastic here and then we got this is an old pogo stick spring and then a bunch of small springs I got from a project that Steve is working on there from the inside of an engine um, and I separate them with with spacers if possible now the only key here that you have to remember is ties come down here if you're slamming into this this is gonna slam into back here and cause this wire to bend out of here and give you those kinks we talked about, which are definitely not wanted. So we'll just put a stop on there and that should easily handle it. Now this is a little different because there's only one wire in the wire clip, but it should handle it just fine. And this is something you wanna keep an eye on throughout the, the uh, adventure because you don't want it sliding back up and it's under a tremendous kind of uh, strain getting banged on every time you got someone coming down which is obviously the best way to to do this is to to find a high spot then go down go down go down and then there's a trough and then like go up about two more feet at the end and that'll cause an automatic braking this isn't going to do all the braking that you need uh, it should, should help a lot but it's not perfect so now we just hook this on again drop this on top Clip it on the bottom, engage the lock, and you are good to go. So this can come in, actuate some pretty decent braking. You don't want to just slam into it though, you do want to have a plan. You want to bring this back end up a little bit so that it slows with gravity. But this is a nice little way to stop it. If you're coming in too hot and this isn't stopping well enough, another tactic is to get a motor old motorcycle tire or utility tire off a Kubota or something like that that's just junk and then drill two holes in it and put it on the wire and that will flatten down but this will give you a good start thanks bye I dry it